right, for this section, we're talking about function notation. So your essential question is, how do I complete a table for a function? So if we take a look at this, function notation is like f of x. This is how it's written. Um, it has the x in the parentheses. It means the function of x. So whatever this equation is that goes with this is the function of x. Um, function notation just tells us what value that we plug in for x to get the y value that comes out. So what do we input to get our output? So for example, if I have y equals 2x plus 4, that is the exact same thing as f of x equals 2x plus 4 because f of x and y are interchangeable. So this is just a way of writing to tell that something is a function. So they want us to evaluate f of x equals negative 3x minus 10 for f of 6. So what we have to do is we have to use 6 as the input for our function. So we are going to plug in 6 for x. So f of 6 would equal negative 3 times 6 minus 10. So I just plugged in 6 for x. And now I'm going to work it out. So negative 3 times 6 would be negative 18, and then minus 10, which would equal negative 28. So if I use 6 as my input, f of 6 would equal negative 28 as the output. So now we're going to uh, learn how to complete a table for a function. So it says complete the table for the function below. And our equation, our function, is f of x equals negative x minus 2. So if I look, my first value of x that they want me to find is negative 1. So first I'm going to find f of negative 1. So if I plug in negative 1 for x, I would have negative, negative 1 minus 2. Well, if I have two negatives together, that makes a positive. So then I would have 1 minus 2, which would equal negative 1. And then I put my answer in the y column of my table. Um, the next one that I'm doing is f of 0. And so then I have um, negative 0, which is just 0, minus 2. And so my answer is negative 2. Then I have to evaluate for 1. So f of 1 is equal to negative 1 minus 2. So negative 1 minus 2 would equal negative 3. And lastly, I have f of 2. So that would be negative 2 minus 2, which would equal negative 4. And the thing that's usually really cool about functions is you should be able to see a pattern in your y column. So it just went negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So that would be how you complete a table for a function. Um, the last thing is how to graph a function. So we're going to graph the function f of x equals negative x plus 1. Now remember, we talked about that f of x basically just replaces y in an equation. So this would be just like graphing y equals negative x plus 1. And you guys already know how to do this. We've been doing this for a while now. So what you do first is you graph the y-intercept. So this is the number where you start. And then you also use the slope to graph the other point. So this is your slope, which is like your rise over run. So if my y-intercept is 1, then I'm going to start here at 1. And then if I look at my slope, my slope is going to be negative 1 over 1, because there's a, like a negative 1 in front of the x. So if I'm doing rise over run, that means I'm going down 1, right 1, down one, right one, down one, right one. And then I'm going to draw 
a nice little line to show my graph. And I wanted to make sure that the, I have arrows on the ends of my lines to show that it goes on forever in both directions. Alright, make sure you go back and answer your essential question and write your summary.